that was a little bit like drowning in warm water. It all comes back, all the flashbacks, but only the good bits. Thank you for leaving the bad bits out. <laughs> there were plenty of them. I really think, actually, having listened to that, that, uh, that Judy, who's here today, should be up here with me, um, because so much of the, uh, the good fortune that uh, I've had is utterly down to my association and deep love for her. So would you just give her a round of applause, please? Thank you. Um, I've never been to one of these ceremonies before. I've driven past them lots of time when we used to drive to and from uh, work in London around this time of year. And it never failed to lift the heart to see all of you young people waiting outside to come in and, and collect your degrees. And something was said here earlier about the, the number of people who've moved on from getting degrees here into employment or further education. I think the figure was 90% 90, 90, 90 plus. That is amazing. That is an extraordinary figure. Um, and it illustrates something very important about today that I've been thinking about um, since I woke up this morning. Many of you will see this, I guess, as, a, as an ending, as a completion, and of course, in a sense, it is. But it's also absolutely a beginning for you. Um, the the programmes that Judy and I have been making together for so long have employed mostly graduates, uh, most of them in their 20s, mid-20s, late 20s. Um, and it's extraordinary how quickly you can actually find success. And if there would be one tiny piece of advice that, as a 55-year-old, um, I might pass on to you on a very special day, it's when you do go for your employment, when you do apply for jobs, don't take no for an answer. You've done so well to reach the point that you're at now. Kick the door in. If you get a no, reapply. Ring again, write again, visit again. Most of the people, most areas of employment are very, very hard to break into these days. It's, it's, it's never been tougher, actually, in my lifetime. But most of the, of, the, of the young kids like you who make a success of it are the ones who won't be turned away, who insist on kicking the door in. And when I think of the young people that we work with and who got on to great successes, many of them in, in, in the media, in, particularly in television, they're the ones who wouldn't take no for an answer. So I just say that. Um, I, I didn't go to university. Um, I left school at, uh, at 16. Unexpectedly, I, I was planning to go to uni. I was going to do A-levels and, and then hopefully get an English degree and then possibly a graduate training scheme place at somewhere like The Guardian or The Telegraph. But uh, I ended up doing a summer job on the, the local paper and they asked me to stay and I did. And I must say that although I've said publicly many times I have no regrets about that, I do. I wish I'd gone to university. I wish I'd had the, the intellectual scratching experience which took much longer to get my brain in, into position through the hackneyed phrase, university of life. And I wish I'd had the social life that you guys have had and which you will be saying goodbye to, to, to a great extent. You must have had a fantastic time and yet you've all passed. So many, many congratulations. It's an absolute honor and a privilege to be here with, amongst you today. Congratulations, and thank you very much.